So today is all about scaling prices again, but we're going to do something slightly different with it from what we were doing last time we were looking at scaling prices. So today we're looking at two items and we're trying to decide which of these items is cheapest. Now, this is going to use the skill we did in task two, because what we're going to do is work out how much does 100 grams cost and we're going to use that. So we know that 500 grams costs £3.45. Now, apologies about the print quality again. My printer again messed this one up. So we know 500 grams is £3.45. We want to know about 100 grams. Now, how do we get from 500 grams to 100 grams? Well, we divide by 5. So the important thing is to go from 500 grams to get to 100 grams, we divide by 5. So we need to do exactly the same operation here. We need to divide by 5. Now, we've seen this in task 2, um, but we are seeing it again here. And that gives us 0 0.69 or 69 pence per 100 grams. So this is 69p per 100 grams. We can do exactly the same over here on this one here. We have 700 grams and that costs £4.69. We want to know about 100 grams. Well, 700 down to 100, we divide by 7. So we're going to do that on the calculator. We're going to do 4.69 divided by 7. So that is 0 0.67 pounds, or written another way, 67p per 100 grams. Now, the question that I want you to answer with each pair, and I've actually given you a table to write down this information in, um, but the question that I would like you to answer in each pair is which one is cheapest? Well, this costs 69p per 100 grams, and this one costs 67p per 100 grams. This one is cheaper. So this jam is cheaper. Okay, so we've calculated per 100 grams, and that allows us to compare them. We couldn't compare these because this was 500 and this was 700. But if we scale them down, they're both 100. We can compare. Now we're going to do exactly the same uh, with this second one. Here we've got 300 grams being £3.60. Now we need to scale that down. And I want you to have a pause the video and have a go at that. So think what are we going to divide by and do the same to this one. And then exactly the same over here. Now this one's a bit trickier. But have a think. So go away. Pause the video for a moment. Have a think. What are we going to divide by here? And can you do it there? What are we going to divide by here? And can you do it to that one? And then we'll compare. So pause the video, have a go. And then I will run through the answer in just a moment. Great. So hopefully you've had a go at that. 300 down to 100. Hopefully reasonably straightforward. We can see we're dividing by 3. We need to do exactly the same over here. We need to divide by 3. Well, 3.60 divided by 3 is £1.20. Hopefully we managed to get that. So this is £1.20 for 100 grams. Might be good to put my grams sign in. Apologies. Now over here, 450 divided by something gives me 100. Well... If we think multiplying, what we multiply by 100 to get 4 minus 50 would be 4.5. So it's dividing going the other way. You'll get used to that. None of the examples I've done are any harder than that. So you're either going to be dividing by a whole number or something 0.5 in each of your examples. Now, 5 pounds 85 divided by 4.5, we can do. So 5.85 divided by 4.5 equals... 1.3. Now remember it's money, so that will be £1.30. Well, which one's cheaper? Well, this one is much cheaper. Um, 
So this toothpaste is cheaper. And you have to write that little statement because that is the key thing that we're trying to do here. We're trying to compare the value of two things. So it's important to actually state our answer at the end. So that will give you enough to have a go at the questions. You'll see I've actually started with a jam and a, a toothpaste one on that first page of the questions, um, but with different numbers in here. But exactly that layout would be absolutely perfect. And I'll get there. Please do use a calculator. I'm not expecting any of this um, to be done in your head. Just get your calculator out and calculate. That's great.